Hey guys, welcome to Friday's workout from home this week, coming to the end of another week. We only have maybe two more weeks of home workouts, fingers crossed, left after this week's session. Um, so yeah, something to look forward to. As said previously earlier in the week, make sure you're getting active, you're trying to do some basic mobility stuff as well, getting down into a couch stretch, hold the bottom of the squat, open up their shoulders and your T-spine. Um, so just make sure you're moving as much as you can um, and prime that body for what you're gonna expect it to do in a few weeks time when you come back to the gym. If you haven't done anything range of motion wise, like a squat or a lunge or these type of things or push-ups, you're gonna be severely sore. Okay, if you haven't prepped your body for that, to so start incorporating that into some uh, like a few times a week and then the second thing is you're going to really increase and ramp up the chance of you getting injured when you do come back to the gym if you go from nothing to full on straight away so you need to slowly build up that uh, exposure to it get your body used to like body weight stuff first and then build it back up okay so warm up today guys we're going to go down to the ground for most of it okay so we're going to go dog up dog down Pigeon stretch and then sit back. So we're gonna look at the hips, the ankles, the shoulders, everything all at once. So push up position, feet on the ground, drive the heels to the floor, hold for five seconds, chest down to the ground, squeeze our glutes, hold for five seconds, sit back, arms long and straight, elbows locked down, head and chest true, hold for five seconds, and then foot up and across, 90 degrees, pigeon stretch. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, that's one side. Then you're gonna go back in before you do the other side. You're gonna go dog up. You're gonna go dog down. You're gonna go sit back. Head true, drive your chest and head true. And then opposite side into your pig stretch. 20 to 30 seconds. Once you've gone through that whole cycle once, then you're going to move onto your feet, you're going to give yourself about 30 seconds and you're going to warm up some light skipping, okay? So, some single unders to start, maybe on round one, even if you're someone who's looking to do double unders, go down, do that cycle again, come back up, then start incorporating some single, single doubles, go back down, go to another round, and then go into your double unders on the third round once everything's warmed up and ready to go. So today's war workout, guys, very straightforward. Three minutes of work, one minute of rest, five rounds. Minute one, double unders or single unders. Minute two, alternating dumbbell snatch. Minute three, active recovery, plank hold. Minute four, full recovery, rest. Five rounds in total. Counting your skips and counting your snatches to go towards today's score. If you're doing double unders, you're gonna be doing RX plus today as per usual. So minute one, start with just skipping whatever version you can do. Minute two, into our alternating dumbbell snatch. Dumbbell up, overhead, chest up nice and tall. Looking out front, power to the legs and hips. Punch the roof at the end of each rep. Minute three, down into your plank hold on your elbows, body in a straight line. Tuck your pelvis under, make sure there's no arch in your lower back. Minute four rest. So just counting your skips and your snatches today, guys. There are the two movements you're gonna push yourself, try and go unbroken on your plank, and then get that minute recovery afterwards to full rest as best you can. RX Plus, if you're doing double unders today, as usual, thanks for watching, guys. Getting ever closer to a return to this place. Looking forward to having you all back. Um, and as I said at the start of the video, please try and start incorporating some flexibility and some strength work into your routine twice or three times a week so your body doesn't go into complete shock when you get back here. Talk to you soon.